Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upper Comedy. I'm back with another Dokkan battle video and today we're doing a very exciting showcase, at least one that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. We are taking on the Super Saiyan 3 stage of Super Battle Road with a mostly Dragon Ball Heroes team. We've got this Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Goku here with two dupes and we also have the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta with a single dupe. We have my Super Saiyan 3 Bardock who has two dupes now. The last time I took on this stage, I believe this guy was dupeless. So even though he's still going to be a bit of a liability as far as defense goes, it should be a little bit better than last time. And we also of course have the Super Saiyan 3 Trunks here with a dupe. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta with uh, well, four dupes, rainbowed. Um, definitely want to still bring this guy because he's just such an amazing tank. I know it's a bit of a he's a bit of a cheat code basically. So yeah, I was thinking about whether or not I should bring him. Maybe it would make it too easy, but you know what? I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I still have to include him. It just makes sense, right? So we have him. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan here with two dupes, and of course the Rainbow Bardock friend. So that is the loadout. That is the setup. The items, as you can see, are pretty standard. And without further ado, let's jump in and see what this team can uh, can do. Now, I've been using the Heroes team a lot these days, and I absolutely love it. And uh, honestly, the highlight of the team is really the Super Saiyan 3. So I was like, might as well put them on an actual Super Saiyan 3 team and see how well they fare on the Super Battle Road stage. So first rotation, we have the Bardock, we have the Gohan or not Gohan, the uh, Trunks, and also the Xeno you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, Bardock is definitely going to take a lot of damage, so I will take him out of rotation. I think I'm going to actually go with the Icarus just to be safe. I know that the Trunks and the Goku are excellent tanks, but even so, if Bardock takes a super or a double super at the end, we're dead, right? So we're going to use the item, and let's actually put... Hmm, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's put this guy here, and we're going to go for the um, boo, well actually they're both boo, the good boo, or the fat boo. All right, here we go guys, and um, finally, oh actually I should have attacked the evil boo with trunks, but that's okay, that's okay. And of course we're gonna go back to evil boo for Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Let's see what kind of damage this Xeno Goku can do. I know the trunks doesn't hit very hard, but look at how well this guy's tanking, man. Holy crap, okay, one point, almost 1.6 million attack a million damage we are taking a super shouldn't be too bad 5k yeah okay we're good <laughs> we are just fine man yo he's such an amazing tank guys especially when you have uh multiple dragon ball heroes units on the team because i believe he gets up to 35 percent damage reduction when you have four or more heroes units on the team which is what we have right we have four super saiyan threes from the uh, heroes category. Uh, let me just actually check his passive real quick. I want to make sure I'm not like telling lies here. So we're going to pop over to his passive and it says guards all attacks of course which helps in the tanking. He also has a up to 35% damage reduction with heroes category allies. Oh you need five. Okay so he should be getting I guess four. Um, so four times seven 28% damage reduction I believe with the four heroes units. Wait is it four or five we have? Yeah, four. Okay, my bad. So 28%. Not not the full 35%, but still, as you can see, tanking super, super well, guys. Um, I want to put Bardock out of rotation, but at the same time, uh, I <laughs> there's too many attacks at the end. So I'm going to keep him in the middle. We're going to put the Trunks. Or sorry, I keep mixing the names. I keep mixing the names. I don't know why. Gohan, at the end, he does tank a little bit better. And let's go back to to the fat boo here. We're gonna super, of course, for that chance to stun. And if he gets the stun off, then we should be fine. And uh, he's good with just the one orb. And there is Gohan super as well. Okay. So hopefully we do get the stun off. Like I said, man, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the non Xeno one, uh, literally does not take damage, right? So I can always feel safe to put him in front of any attacks. And then he also has the chance to stun. I also gave him 20 additional so that um, if he gets a stun off, he can go do the additional and also get that huge attack boost on his passive too. So uh, definitely one of my favorite units in the game to use, no question. Super, super strong uh, tanking and damage output wise once you get that stun off. Uh, he's just awesome. He's just awesome. Okay, so, <sighs> alright, this is gonna hurt. 
This is gonna hurt. 171k. Damn. Oh my god, it's because of the type disadvantage and also the fact that super. Um, he he he's not a bad tank. He's not a bad tank, but he's not really a like you know he's not really a tank either, right? He's just like kind of okay for defense. So uh, yeah, we took a lot of damage there. Kind of unfortunate. Um, let's see what we should do here. So for Vegeta, he does get some defense, right? 100%. But aside from that, he's not um, getting much. You know, he's not really that amazing defensively. So. I think I'm actually gonna have to take him out here, or at least go go like this maybe. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, they basically all link equally, as far as I can tell here. Yeah, they do. Okay, so um, should I use an item here? I don't think I have to actually. I don't think I have to. So we are just gonna let it play out. I mean, Trunks has the type advantage here, so he shouldn't be taking a ton of ton of damage either. And Vegeta's not taking any attacks here, so. We should be good to go. Keyword should. All right, that's the important thing to note. We should be good. I got 89 damage. That's good. 12 damage. That's good. 1.6 mil again. Two dupe. Uh, go, go, Goku. By the way, we did get the stun off as well. He has a medium chance to. Was it high chance? Is it high chance or medium chance now? I believe it was medium chance before he Doken Awaken. So I think it might be high chance now. All right, 89. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Yo, the tanking on this team is pretty crazy, guys. And uh, this Vegeta hits really hard. He, he does hit really hard, as you can see. Uh, almost 2 mil attack, and then we crit for 1.2. Um, I think we can actually get away with... Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not, because... The uh, Evil Boo supering Bardock would still kill us. So let's actually go for the Princess Snake. We're gonna heal up. We're gonna have some damage reduction. And then we should probably finish off Evil Boo after this turn. But for now, with that attack in the front, man, I'm just not really... I don't really feel safe about it. So, yeah, item is definitely smart, I think. And let's see what happens. Okay, so no super. But yeah, look at that. We, we still took 49k, right? So if we did an item, we probably wouldn't have died, but it would have been a little dire, you know? It would have, it would have been a little, a little rough. Wow, 2.7 mil from- oh, it's because we have the double support going. We have the double um, Bardock support. So even Vegeta right now, without the stun, is getting 1.8 mil. And now he has the stun. Additional. Alright. 2.4 mil for my two dupe of Bardock. I wish we had the Xeno Goku on rotation, or the Xeno Vegeta on rotation, because those numbers would have would have been wild, man. It would have been like, I don't even know. Uh, 2.5, maybe even 3 million? Um, anyways, anyways, well, at some point, at some point in this run, we'll get, we'll get one of those rotations, uh, with like the Xeno Vegeta, and then two Bardocks giving the 40% attack, that would be awesome. Okay, um, what should we do here? So we're gonna put Gohan there, we're gonna put Trunks here, uh, we still have type disadvantage, I'm actually gonna pop another Icarus just to be safe. And I think we should be good to go after that. So why don't we actually just focus all of our attacks on uh, Hoi here. Try to take him out first. And then we will focus on the Harutengarn. Yo, when I, when I first ran this event for the first time, I was like, damn, yo, if Harutengarn does what he normally does on like his Dokkan event, ooh, we're getting supered right off the bat. Don't hit too hard. 36k, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um... Yeah, well, like, if he does what he normally does, then I'm out, man. Like, I'm just not gonna beat the stage, because I can't deal with that. I can't deal with this guy dodging, like, 90% of my attacks. I was happy to see that he actually doesn't have that same mechanic, right? He doesn't have that, like, infinite dodge thing he does um, on his Dokkan event, which is great. So, uh, random story. I know it doesn't really have any relevance to anything, but uh, that's just what I was thinking about when I first ran this. I was like, it was Harutengarn, man. I don't want to deal with that. Hmm. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, obviously, I'm going to put Vegeta here, even though there's a lot of... Uh, what do you call them? Yeah, even though there's a lot of AGL attacks, it, the, the, the tanking is just so ridiculous. Like, his defense is just so ridiculous, it doesn't even matter. And I think Vegeta here can actually... The Xeno Vegeta can actually take care of uh, Hoi. But if he doesn't, then Paradox should finish the job. 
All right, so we're getting Super once again. Doesn't really matter. Cool Super, by the way. Really cool animation. 76 damage, as you can see. 900k from the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. If we get the stun and then additional, it could go up to like 2 million-ish. All right, so no additional Super. We didn't get the stun off either. That's fine. Not a big deal. 89 damage with type disadvantage. And now this is going to do like 10k, maybe 20... Oh. Never mind. Never mind. All right, 1.9 mil Zeno Vegeta. Love the animation, by the way. It looks so damn clean. A crit. Hoi is dead. There you go. What did I say? What did I say? And we're taking, you know, a good amount of damage, but not a lot. So, look at that. Right now, he has an attack stat of 1.3 mil, but with the two Bardocks active, like their passive support active, when we're under like 70% HP or something like that, it was like, what, 2.7 mil or something like that? It's just, it's crazy how much it ramps up. All right, guys, I'm not gonna item here. I don't think I need to. Um, I, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Oh, we can't super here. Did I mess up? I feel like there was a way I could have probably could have gotten everybody to super. But, uh, it's fine. We're not going to reset. You Sometimes in these videos, I reset. I'm like, you know, maybe I want to try to get a better, you know, do a better, just like, use of the orbs. But for this run, we're doing so well, I don't feel like we really need to give ourselves that advantage, right? So, uh, we're just going to keep going. Maybe we can get a stun here. No, no stun. All right, that's fine. Um, how much is it going to do? Oh, 103k. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. This team is beastly, man. This team is really good. Really, really good. That's all I can really say. Uh, here, I think an item might actually be necessary because, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's like mandatory. I just don't really trust Vegeta or Gohan to take any supers, the Xeno Vegeta that is. So I think, I'm gonna use a print, I'm gonna use a Chi Chi because I feel like any other item is kind of a waste, right? Like as far as healing goes. So we're gonna go with that. And then these other guys should not be taking much damage at all because Rudigarn's, um his attack should be very low right now. Like very, very low. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, of course this is where he supers. Of course he's gonna super the guy that can actually take a super, not the other two guys. So I feel like I wasted the item now, but it's fine. It's fine. We got more than enough, I think, for the last stage. We're making some pretty good progress. I mean, not, not like as fast as I've done in the past, I think, with my, you know, regular Super Saiyan 3 team. But uh, these guys are holding up really well. I mean, they really are. Uh, 1.5 mil from Super Saiyan 2, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. He hits pretty hard as well. Not as hard as Vegeta, but uh, respectable damage for sure. And we just can't get the stun off. Is this guy like immune to stun or something like that? He must be immune to stun because I have launched so many attacks at him. And like from guys that can stun, he just hasn't stunned. So I don't know what's up with that, but uh, it's fine. It is what it is. All right. Okay, super. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so supering trunks. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, 53k, that's fine. We don't have any items active right now. The Nurse Chi Chi only lasts for one turn. So currently, we are just naked, right? As far as, like, damage reduction items go, as far as, well, that's pretty much it. So no damage reduction active, but we should be okay. Now, Bardock might take a fair amount of damage here from even a normal attack. Yeah, 44k, so, um, I think the play here, honestly, is to use something, like, let, let's use, like, a Aider or something like that, like, nothing too crazy, but healing back up still, we're not gonna get the Dokkan attack off for this fight, um, at least I hope not, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, so, yeah, I think I can afford to heal up here. And then for the next fight, we will have the uh, Dokkan attack to heal us as well, right? All right, 2.3 mil, or 2.2, 2.2 from Xeno Vegeta. Pretty crazy. All right, still taking 22k. Oh, Bardock's going to take a good amount of damage, isn't he? Yeah, Bardock's going to take a good amount of damage here if he gets supered. Ooh, 10k. Okay, that's fine. 10k. Okay, that's fine. 10k. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Ah, <sighs> alright, just no Dokkan attacks. Just no Dokkan attacks. I think, um, as long as I don't give any of these guys same type orbs, there should be no Dokkan. Yes, there we go, okay. So we basically have to finish him off this turn. It, it, it is it is mandatory that we finish him off this turn. 104k. Okay. Alright. Ooh, please get it done. Get it done. Alright, 500k crit. Yo, Goku, give me the crit as well. I beg of you. Alright. There we go. Okay, okay. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. It was a little bit scary there. I was a little bit concerned, but uh, we got it done. Now on to the baby. Uh, it's actually four units, so it's like the GT team. Um, we do have the token attack for sure, and we also have. Hmm. Actually, I am a little bit concerned. Actually, what if what if I if I go Nurse Chi Chi here? We should be fine, I think. Um. I think with Nurse Chi Chi, like, Vegeta should not be taking much damage at all. Because I, I want him to get the super, right, for the token attack. That's a thing. Um, I think it should be okay. Right? <laughs> Man, if we die here, that would just be the saddest thing ever. Honestly. We shouldn't, though. We, sh we, sh we shouldn't die here. Alright, let's see what Vegeta takes. Uh, 56. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. From a type disadvantage uh, attack, taking 56 damage. Alright, let's get all these. Boom, boom. All done. Let's see what his attack stat goes up to. 2.2 uh, mil once again. Alright. Let's get a nice crit and take a good chunk of all of these guys' HP. Alright. Do it, Vegeta. Come on. Come on. 18% chance to get a crit. Ah, no crit. But we killed. We already killed somebody. We already killed somebody. Okay, so we're getting supered here. 3,000 damage. Yeah, I can I can live with that. I can live with that. Yeah, this 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 fight is not gonna last too much longer. We stunned the baby too. We stunned the baby. We're getting over two million from the friend Bardock. And this might actually kill. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> two enemies down, one of them is stunned. Definitely don't have to use an item here. Um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna finish this. So let's let's just to be extra safe, we're gonna kill this trunks here, and then you know these guys are just gonna attack the baby who is stunned. So I don't have to worry about any of his attacks. So basically, trunks is not taking any attacks this turn, and the next turn we'll just finish it off, and we'll finish this run in about. Under 20 minutes for sure. Uh, under 20 minutes. I don't know the exact count because I had a bit of an intro in the front, right? Like a minute, minute and a half, something like that. So uh, it's going to be under 20 minutes for sure. We'll see the exact time in a second once we get this guy out of the way. And uh, that's all she wrote, my friends. That is all she wrote. So um, I'm going to put the Super Saiyan 3, regular Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in the front just to be extra safe. Even though I don't think that we would have died to even a super without items, uh, it never hurts to be extra safe, I'm just saying. So, here we go. We're taking 127 damage, and Vegeta maybe can get the stun off too, just so I can be like fully at ease. He does get the stun off, and it's over. It is over. That is, that is it. I love the animation still, and GG. Okay, so... At the end of this run, we still have uh, two items left, and let's see what our final time is for this Super Saiyan 3 Heroes Team run. We finished this in new record, 17 minutes and 31 seconds. If I didn't talk so much during the run, we could have finished it even faster. But uh, yeah, this was my fastest time. I can't believe it took me 23 minutes before. I actually can't believe it took me 23 minutes to beat this. It's kind of crazy, but there we go guys. The Heroes team does really, really well on Super Battle Road. Um, and obviously, I mean, it'd be even faster if I had these guys rainbowed, but all of them have at least one dupe. Uh, some of them have two dupes. And uh, that is the showcase, my friends. 
that is the showcase hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what you think about this mostly heroes super saiyan 3 team uh, let me know if you've been running it yourself it is a monster of a team man so so many good tanks so many good uh damage dealers just an awesome team overall i love it i can't wait to keep using it uh, that's gonna do it for the video though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.